Hello and welcome. In this video, I will quickly show you how you can respond to different types of HTTP requests in the Firebase. So let's start how we can do that one. In the previous video, you, you learned how you can get data from the URL, which was a GET request. So I will open a tool called Postman. If you don't have it, just Google it and install it. That is free. You can use it anytime. So Postman is going to Postman is a tool and it will let you send any type of HTTP request with the data you want, the, the header you want, with the authorization you want to any endpoint and you will get the reason, the result as a JSON or any other type you want. So how it is going to work, once you install this one, you will have it here. I think I have an update for this one, I will update it later. Here you will paste your URL from the drop down, you will uh, select your method of sending your HTTP request. In the previous video I said you have post request, you have get request, which are the most popular one. We have put request, you have patch request, delete, copy, different types of them. So I will show you how you can post, you can respond to the post method in this video. So here I will enter our URL. If I come back to my function here, so this is what we have, like hello function. And this time I'm going to say it should respond to a last name, a data which we send a last name. So we can respond to that one. How about that? And let's deploy our function. Coming to my command line, I will clear everything. And this time I will use the run serve uh, command here. I will run this one. You know it is in the package.json serve. And let's see how this one is working. Serve is going to work the same way as you have npm serve in your Vue.js directory. It will serve locally for you. Now you will have access to your cloud function in the, your local computer. It will not uh, deploy it in the Firebase, but it still you will have access to this one for testing. So here is the hello one. You can copy this one. If you get any error regarding uh, like latest version of any of these packages here, just follow, just read the error. You might get the error of uh, your admin is not up to date. It should be this version. Just uh, upgrade your Firebase admin and it should work just fine. I will come to my application here and instead of running on the server, I will run this one which is a local one and this time it is undefined and I will not run it here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use postman here so you will learn about postman too you will paste your URL and you will send it before I send I want to send some data first I will send name which is the key and the value is going to be Ali and the next one is going to be last name and this is going to be John and if I send the request Guess what will uh, be the response? If I send the request, the response should be John. Yes, hello John. Why it took the second one? Because in our function, we have a specified here that just respond to the last name, which the key should be the last name. That's why when we send a request, it will respond to this, this one. And this was a get request. How if you send a post request? You will just from the drop down select the post request and you will send it now it is going to be a post request and you don't have to specify it in the url because you don't need to yeah and if i delete it from here it will be deleted from here also because you have those data that's why i'm not going to delete this one but in real time like in real world like if you are developing any application you don't write everything in the url you just post a request with the data you have like you submit a form it will send a post request to an endpoint and the other the endpoint will get those information for now we need those information we have because we have the parameter here so this is like in a, a nutshell like this is how you can use postman and that's it like easily and how you can say if that is a get request or post request i'll show you this one also i will come to the express here documentation if you search for something called request you know you will just enter here and you'll come to the request as well as request property i will go to the request the reason i show you documentation is because you have to know how you can find something in the future for example if i come here we have already used some of this like we use the request.query then it should be q it, it for us it was name and it could be last name whatever this is the same in express so what I'm going to choose is I'm going to use the method here. You click on the method one. So what the request that method is going to do, it is going to give you a string 
corresponding to HTTP method and it is going to define either your post is your request is post or get or whatever so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a condition to see if the request is post respond if not do not respond anything what I'm going to say if request that method is going to be equal to post if that is a post request respond hello uh, the name of the person otherwise just respond and tell them that please send a post request something like that so why it is useful sometimes you don't want to get uh, you don't want to accept some post request sometimes you don't want to accept like get request from URL that's why and you will say please send post request I will save this one I will come to the postman here and this time first I will send a get request to this URL and see how this is going to function I will send the request and the response should say please send a post request because we are sending a get request then I will select from the drop down a post request and you will post it and here you go you have your data showing here now what is the difference the reason people send a get request from the URL is because some people might let's say you have this URL from here I'll copy this one I will come to the browser and I will paste it here and if someone is going to refresh the URL if you don't want to lose this data you can send a get request but if you don't care about losing the data like I just want to send data I don't care if they refresh the, their browser from here or refresh the website from here then you can use the post request and there are some other reasons also why you send post request and I will talk uh, more about those in the future video so that's it for this and we are ready to integrate I think integrate Stripe into our application so that is what we are going to do in the next video thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.